Greetings, Marsh here, and welcome to episode 78 of my modded Factorio playthrough. Enjoy. And uh, now that we're here, let's make a stack of panels of mediums and larges so we have something to work with when we're uh, trying to figure out what the right ratio is. Let's start building accumulators first, since we're going to need a bunch of them. By a bunch, I mean a lot. You have no idea. Or maybe you do, but... <laughs> All right. So the type we're going to build are the high capacity accumulator. The recipe is the same, just iron and batteries. So we are making a total of, let's find out how many batteries. Imagine that's going to be the limiting factor. One battery every five seconds times 1.25 times 12. Three batteries per second. This machine is going to take 10 batteries every 10 seconds, times 0.75. So we can support four assembly machines making accumulators. So the input is going to be batteries and iron. Uh, batteries... Looks like one yellow will be fine for batteries. And one yellow will be fine for iron. I think the iron's going to come in on the outside. Batteries are going to come in through the inside. And then, for output, into boxes. That is limited based on the circuit. And since these are all the same, I'm actually going to connect all these together. Let's put the lights in. Or the power and the lights. They're all going to be connected together since I want the totals to be added up between them. And uh, let's set these to... High capacity accumulator is less than, let's say, a thousand. Turn on. Of course, they all want to turn on. And there we go. Let's move it into place. Two spaces over. Iron comes in here. freshly minted batteries. Oops. Coming up there. And connect the power. And connect the belt. <laughs> it's like nothing's happening. Okay. Let's click some of those solar panels. I can turn this off now. Hopefully that's enough panels. So let's build what we had before. Is that going to be enough space for our solar panel pattern? Yes. Now to save a little bit of effort, I'm not going to place the small solar panels and you'll see why in a second. So we need to replace some of these panels with Accumulators. And accumulators are tiny little things. 
right there. So they, they fit in the space of a small panel. So what's the math? It's pretty complicated, especially when you have lots of mods and like day night extender and all of that. But real quickly, I'm going to try to uh, explain the math. And I wrote it down, hopefully to make it a little easier to understand. Now this math was based on uh, 30.6 megawatts, which is what we had before we doubled our output. But let's just go based on this. So first you want to figure out how much power do you want to have continuously. We want 30.6 megawatts. And then what's the length of a, a day, or in other words, a 24 hour period in real life seconds? How long is that? In my case, it's 1,666 seconds, and I counted this just by starting the day at midnight and let it play through until midnight, and then looked at the play time to see how much uh, real-time seconds there were. The, the final calculation is more complicated. We need to figure out what percentage of the day is night, so we can figure out how many accumulators we need. Well, to do this, you'll need to figure out when dawn starts and ends and when dusk starts and ends and really just by watching it happen i figured on, on my playthrough i don't know if it's different based on different mods that dawn technically starts at 1 10 a.m that's when the sun starts coming up and i tell uh like this brightness indicator isn't the best indicator what i actually did is just hovered over a solar panel and i and at 1 10 a.m the solar panel started producing power so that's the beginning of dawn, and the end of dawn is 6 a.m. When does dust start? Dust start, starts cleanly at, at 1800, and then it ends at about 2245. That's when the panels no longer can produce any power. So now that you have those four numbers, we need to uh, average them together to figure out a single time, and assuming that the day is uh, like dusk starts and ends linear in a linear fashion let's just say the what's between 110 and 6 well it's 335 so let's just say the day starts at 335 and when we do the same thing for dusk 1800 and 2245 the number between there is 20 22.5 so let's say that's when dusk is so now we need to figure out what percentage of the day is day and what percentage of the day is night. Well, if we take those numbers and figure out how much time is between dusk and dawn, it's seven hours, 12 minutes and five seconds. And between dawn and dusk, it's 16 hours, 47 minutes and 30 seconds. And this isn't the real life t game time, I should clarify. This is just what the in-game clock says, what it is in Factorio Land on Biter Planet. <laughs> when you compare those two numbers, um, the daytime, 16.7916 hours. When you compare that to 24 hours, that's 70%, pretty cleanly. And uh, for night, 7.2013 hours is about 30% pretty cleanly. So you could say that the Factorio day is 70% of the total day and Factorio night is 30%. I've never actually uh, done these calculations before, nor have I looked at anybody else's builds. So it was kind of fun to go through the calculations and see, oh, they make sense. <laughs> so now that we know the percent, how many real life seconds is day and night? Well, when you apply that 70% for day of the total amount of time, which is 1,666 seconds, daytime is 1,166 seconds. And night is a clean 500 seconds long. Boom. <laughs> this is important. Now that we know that night is 500 seconds long, we know how much power we're going to need. So we need 30.6 megajoules for 500 seconds. And that is 15,300 megajoules, or 15.3 gigajoules, if those are the units you want to use. And then we need to calculate how much, how many accumulators do we need for that? 
So each one of these high capacity accumulators holds 10 megajoules. So if we want to store 15,300, then that means we need 1,530 accumulators. And actually, it's double that because we doubled our power output to about 51 megawatts, something like that, or 61, uh, with the extra capacity we added on our, our furnaces. So we actually need twice this. Put this in here, 3,060 accumulators. Nowhere close. 3,060 accumulators in total. That is a lot. That will get us through the night. Now we need to figure out how much of our solar panel blueprint actually needs to be accumulators. Now you can't just replace accumulators in here. There's two different ways of going about this. One is to have a bank of accumulators and then have a bank of solar panels. But the problem there is every time you want to upgrade one, you have to upgrade the other and calculate. If we can make a cool blueprint that's already perfectly balanced, then we can just keep plopping blueprints down and not worry about how many solar panels or accumulators we have in the factory. So the question is, how much of this setup needs to be accumulators and how much needs to be solar panels? Well, there's some more calculations here. Because for 30% of the day, which is night, the accumulators are going to be providing power. It means that for the rest of the day, so the 70% of the day that is sunlight, the solar panels need to not only power the factory, but they also need to power the accumulators as well to be prepare for night. So if we consider that we, for 70% of the day, we need to provide 100% of our power use for the entire day, we take 30 and divide that by 70 that means that we need an extra 42.89 percent of power output to charge those accumulators so let's say we wanted 100 megawatts of power continuous that means we need to have 142 megawatts of solar panels to power the accumulators so it's a little complicated but just remember that number about, let's say, 43%. And in, in this situation, assuming we're at 30.6 megawatts, it means we need 43.72 megawatts in total. So if we take the calculated number of accumulators as 1,530 accumulators divided by 43.72 megawatts, it means we need 35 accumulators per megawatt. And that's the number we've been getting to. So now we know, we don't know how many solar panels, but we know that if we make a, a setup, we can compare how much power the solar panels are producing and how many accumulators are in that setup. And then we can figure out, is that 35 accumulators per megawatt? If it is, then we know we have a balanced setup. And rather than showing you me just clicking around trying to make it work, I already figured that out ahead of time. So let me show you how I did it. We're going to need a bunch of accumulators, which we do have. <laughs> Meanwhile, though, with all that talking, it looks like things are running smoothly. All the machines are still green, so... So far, so good. Well, we're going to want to replace all of these with accumulators. Including the space in there. Now they're going zappy-zappy because they're being charged by the panels here. And again, you also have to be considerate of you can't put something there because the poles don't reach. So we can replace all of those. Replace all of those. And these. And then kind of modify this a little bit. Put that there. Let's make two small solar panels. Right there. And then... Oops, I didn't put that in the right spot. Top all this. Boom. That is a lot of, like, a lot of accumulators. And also, it means our solar panel is much less dense than it used to be as far as energy production. We'd have to make a lot of these. So the question is, is this balanced? Well, let's make a blueprint of it. 
save it. Get away from that zapping. So how much power does this produce? Well, we have two small solar panels, which is a total of 52 watts, 52 kilowatts. 12 medium panels, which is 720 kilowatts. And three large panels, which is 318 kilowatts. In total, that's 1,090 kilowatts, or 1.09 megawatts. And if we take 1.09 times 35, because we need 35 accumulators per megawatt, that means we should have 38.15 accumulators. And as you can see, this design has 38. So this is very close to balanced. Whew. I know that was a lot of talking, but perhaps you haven't seen this covered before, and I'm sorry if it was super boring. But now we have a recipe we can use and that essentially out outdates this, but I'll leave it in there for now. So the question is, how many of these are we going to need? We have a total production of 61.2 megawatts of power on our uh, coal furnaces. So if we take that 61.2 megawatts and increase it by 1.4289, 87.44 megawatts and we'll take that 87.44 divided by our pattern of 1.09 megawatts it means we need 80 point something so let's just say 81 so 81 patterns times 38 accumulators is 3078 so 3078 How are we doing? 379. <laughs> a tenth of the way there. It's going to be a long time. We'll have to do other things while this is building. But what about the rest of the pattern? Well, one thing we can do is look at our electrical network and see that we have about equal numbers of large, medium, and small panels. But this new pattern uses very few larges and very few smalls just mainly a bunch of mediums like the actual the mediums don't change so we're definitely going to need mediums in total 81 patterns of this is going to be 81 times 12 mediums so we need 972 mediums in total but we already have 180 on the network. So that's 792. So we need 792 mediums. What about larges? Well, 3 times 81 is 243. But we already have 150. So that's 93 extra larges. Smalls need uh, 81 patterns worth of two smalls, which is 162. And right now we have 180 smalls on hand. So we actually have too many smalls. So there we go. That was a, a bit of a roundabout way of calculating things, or maybe not, but that's what we need to do. Now, upgrading these panels is going to require a little bit of thought. And the reason is because if we just come in here and start picking panels up and replacing them, we're not going to have enough solar power for our factory because we're actually reducing the number of available panels because we're replacing them with accumulators so actually we want to put extra we want to put extra copies down and only replace those original copies uh, once we've placed everything else that we need if that makes sense so let's pick some stuff up and replace a few that's all the time we have for today so I'll see you on the next episode thanks for watching